Hi, welcome to the part two of this brand new playlist on AWS Solution Architect Professional. These are real certification questions, guaranteed 100% pass. But focus on the concepts, do not mug the answers. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button for getting notifications on more such informative content. Please remember this channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, primarily AWS, Azure, and GCP. For previous questions, refer to the previous parts of this playlist. Let's jump into this question. Which of these options is not available using the DynamoDB console? So here is a documentation which tells you what can be done from the DynamoDB console. So updating an item, is it possible? Yes, it is indeed. You see this? It is. See, copying is considered as adding and you have an option to create that is done. So A and B cannot be an answer here because it is asking for not available, okay? Blocking an item, this entire documentation doesn't have option to block an item. So this is my answer because you cannot do it from the console. Deleting an item, you can still do it. You see this, you are able to delete items or tables. Hence, this is the right answer. Let's move to this question. Please pause this video, read this carefully and please come back. See, the, cutting the story short, you have a VPC and you want to erase the VPC. That is the simple question. You have a VPC, you want to erase the VPC from the console. You don't want to erase it from CLI. You want to erase it from console. Can you do it? Is it possible to erase the VPC from the console? This documentation shows you that you can create, delete and restore VPCs from console. But if you go to the delete section, it clearly says before deleting, you need to make sure you review your VPC components. So we saw in the documentation that it told first disconnect all the resources. So we have to detach the gateways also. And this is how we do it. And then you can come back to the console and delete the VPC. So my answer is first one. Second one says no, since the NAT instance is running. So I do not see a NAT instance here. So this looks to be wrong. C says the user can use CLI to delete the VPC that will detach. So it will not automatically detach. You will first have to detach the private gateway and then it can you can drop it. So this is wrong. D says the VPC console needs to be accessed using admin account to delete VPC. See your, for your VPCs, you do have service users, service administrators and IAM administrator roles. So you need an administrator role and not an administrator account uh, for this purpose. So this looks wrong to me. And hence, this is my final answer. Let's look at the next one. So this is a question on AWS data pipelines. What is the purpose? It helps you process and move data between different compute and storage devices, as well as on-premises data sources. So you can transfer to S3, RDS databases, DynamoDB, EMR clusters. It is just like your ETL workloads. The question is asking, when does this uh, feature or this service release the computing resources? So A is totally wrong. It says it will release it every two hours. It doesn't happen that way. Logically, why will it do that every two hours? What if some processing is happening? So it says it terminates. Even if the processing is happening, it terminates. So the option clearly looks out of context here. So this is wrong. Similarly, this is wrong. Because if a workload is going on, what is the sense in terminating that every two hours or every 12 hours? There is no sense. Now the answer has to be between B and D. B says when the final activity that uses the resources is running, See, you will not remove something, a compute, when the resources are in the run state, it is running. You will remove the compute when the resources have completed successfully or failed. So that even if you remove the compute, there is nothing running. There is no workload running. Hence, this is my final answer. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. If you like my videos, it takes a lot of effort to bring these contents near to accuracy. This brings us to the end of part two. We'll see you in the next part.